What do you call two birds in love? Tweet hearts. All right, guys. So we're going to do something called, um, back in my day, it was called Mad Libs. And it was this like little notebook that basically you'd pick like a noun, a verb, an adjective, and then you'd write them all down and then you'd read the story with it. So I'm not going to share my screen quite yet. And unfortunately, I can't hear you. So I'm going to be picking some nouns or verbs and you guys will be able to do this on your own with your own Mad Libs. So we need a color, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say turquoise. A number, 23. Uh, a vehicle, mm, a Toyota. Toyota pickup. Um, a family member. We'll say uncle. Um, and another family member. Uncle and we'll say dad. Dad and his brother. All right, a food. We need to pick a food. Hmm. I made chili rayano casserole this morning. <laughs> so we're going to use chili rayana casserole. It's basically like chilies, chili peppers. You lay them in a dish and then you put egg and flour on top of them. And it's kind of like an egg bake. It's really good though. And it's spicy. Uh, let's pick a fruit. Think of a fruit. Let's do an exotic fruit. Let's do passion fruit. <laughs> um, a beverage. Oh, Shirley Temple. You haven't had a Shirley Temple. Ask your parents to order you one. They're really good. I think it's like Sprite and Grenadine with cherry peppers, or che not cherry peppers. I'm still thinking about Chili Rayano with um, Marchino cherries. I think that's what they're called. The little red cherries. All right, we need a verb. Let's see. Uh, ran. Let's think of a noun, so person, place, or thing, or animal. Um, let's think of a clothing noun. Mm, sombrero. And another noun. Let's think of a clothing noun. Mm, antlers like the antlers that you wear. Now let's do cat ears. Cat ears, and we need, let's see, noun, noun, verb. We need another one. Uh, play, we can put play. Another noun. Um, let's think of a game noun, like a game board. <gasps> oh, I just bought Guess Who. If you've never played Guess Who, you'll have to play Guess Who. It's a fun game. Uh, let's go with another one, uh, another noun. Mm, I'm going to do a animal. I'm going to say chickens. I promise this will all make sense here in a second. Let's see. Verb plus ing at the end. Uh, oh, we could go jump roping. Jump roping, ing at the end. A verb, another verb, so something that you do. Uh, we could say skip. And last blank we need to fill in is a noun. Um, stamps. Stamps. All right, so now I'm going to share the screen and we're going to replace, <laughs> we are going to replace all of the verbs, nouns, and adjectives that I just wrote down. So this is Mad Libs. You fill, you basically just kind of fill in the paper without even reading it first. So road trip. My family is taking a trip to, do you see that first blank right there? We actually put turquoise, beach. 
So my family is taking a trip to Turquoise Beach, 23 hours away. We are riding in a Toyota pickup with my uncle and dad. My parents packed a cooler with, ooh, chili rellano casserole, sandwiches, passion fruit, and Shirley Temples. They always ran, I said verb, they always ran us to wear a sombrero and, a, and cat ears so we don't get sunburned. During the drive, we will play games like Guess Who and Count the Chickens. I can't wait to get there so I can go jump roping in the ocean and skip along the beach and collect stamps I find in the sand. <laughs> so that's the fun part of not knowing what you're dealing with. So I did attach a photo below. If you don't want to know the story, don't read the story. Just read the underlying parts or even ask your parents or family members, whoever you're with today, ask them to um, fill in the blanks and then you guys can write it down and read it to them. So another thing we're going to do is a summer bucket list. So I tried finding a video on YouTube and not a lot of people have really cool videos of bucket list, but that's all right. So I decided to make one myself. Let me share. Uh -oh. Let me share my screen. Here we go. Okay, summer bucket list. And I will attach this link too if you want to kind of use some of these ideas. So, a summer bucket list is something that you want to do throughout the summer. So, there's like a bucket list, which is like broad, means your whole life, or just a summer bucket list. And so, you can put summer bucket list of 2020. So, I read through this and it's uh, it had some really awesome ideas. So this is the ultimate nostalgic, su nostalgia summer bucket list to complete with your kids. So this is just an article that I found online. I went to um, Google and I typed in, let's see, I typed in summer bucket list for kids. And then it was the Pop Sugar family. So let's read it. The ultimate summer bucket list for kids. So what do you want to accomplish this summer? One, have a picnic, watch a sunset at a beach, fly a kite, camp in the backyard, stargaze, play tag with all of your neighborhood kids, run through sprinklers, eat too many popsicles, plant flowers or vegetables, make and sell lemonade on your front lawn, have an underwear tea party in the pool, Underwater, underwater, that is underwater. I was like, man, that, that would an underwater tea party. Man, you'd have to hold your breath and then drink the tea. You could have an underwear party in your living room. Paint pet rocks, ride your bike from sunrise to sunset, watch fireworks, go across the lawn on a slip and slide for hours, which I just bought a slip and slide. I'm so excited. That's my, that's actually on my summer bucket list. So I'm going to attach this link. You can go through and read all of it, but what I want you to do, I'm going to do it on a Google document. Excuse me. I'm going to do it on a word document. Oh, I need to share. First I need to share my screen, huh? That would help. Let me see. Share screen. We're going to go to this new document. All right, so I'm going to label it Summer Bucket List 2020. I'm going to make it in the middle and a little bit larger font. So you can just write this down, but which honestly writing it down would be helpful because then on your list, rather than bullet points, you can actually put little squares. And then that way, when you um, write this out or print it out, you can kind of cross them off. So I want to play on my slip and slide. Play on my slip and slide. Eat popsicles on the porch. Oh, popsicles. Oh, I already went kayaking, so it's not bucket list. Take Shasta out on the kayak. I did not take him. I took my nephew. Take, I would take Wally, but he's a little kind of crazy. Maybe I'll put, take the dogs on the kayak. He's gotten, I guess Wally has to learn sometime or another. Um, harvest my vegetables. 
that I planted in my garden. What else do I want to do over the summer? <sighs> Receive a phone call from one of my students. So whoever calls me is going to, I'm going to check that off my bucket list. Um, ooh, go to a concert. Mm -hmm. My concert hasn't been canceled yet. I'm so excited. Uh, if there were fireflies here in Colorado, I would say I'd love to catch some fireflies. You know what? I'm going to say catch a firefly. So that means I'm going to have to go to Nebraska a little um, uh, east on the east coast. Catch a firefly. What else do I want to do? Um, play with clay. <gasps> go camping. We have not went camping yet. Um, mm, what else, friends? So maybe I'll just leave it here. I'll probably add to it a little bit later on as um, it's not even summer yet. Summer solstice has not began. Oh, roast s'mores. I do want to roast s'mores. Oh. And there's a secret, my friends. If you have s'mores this summer, the, the secret hack to s'mores is you buy chocolate covered graham crackers because then there's a thin layer on the top and the bottom of chocolate. And all you have to do is roast your marshmallow and stick it on in. You can just skip the whole step of even having to buy the Hershey's chocolate. So chocolate covered graham crackers, they are at the store. All right, friends, I would love for you to make your own summer bucket list. Uh, this isn't required to turn into me, but I want you, I want you guys to keep it, keep it over the summer, see how many things that you accomplish or maybe even um, something that you've never done before, you can add it to your bucket list. Have fun with it. It's your bucket list and then continue this tradition every summer. Bye guys.